don't drive on the railroad track. Well, Phil, that's one I happen to agree with. Hey guys, welcome back to Jeff's Adventures. Today we're in Woodstock, Illinois, and we're going to check out the locations of the movie Groundhog Day, the famous uh, Harold Ramis movie starring Bill Murray, Andy McDowell. This was an absolute classic, and this right here was the railroad track that Bill Murray drove down in Groundhog Day. Now we're going to go through the city, and I'm going to show you a lot more of the sites and the locations from this film, so come on and join me. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably watch Groundhog Day, well, at least every Groundhog Day, but also throughout the year. It's one of the, probably one of the better movies ever done, in my opinion. I mean, Bill Murray was just absolutely amazing in this film, and so was Andy McDowell, Chris Elliott, um, Stephen Tobolowsky. Um, it's just a great film. But up here is the bowling alley that... Um, that Bill Murray was hanging out as Phil Connors with a couple of the town drunks and it does appear to still be a functioning bowling alley. So it's pretty cool to see where they actually did a little bit of movie magic. Now we're gonna walk down this other road and we're gonna head into the town square which is where a majority of these shots were filmed and then after that we're gonna go see the bed and breakfast where Phil Connors stayed throughout the movie. Now, Woodstock, Illinois does absolutely embrace this film. They have Groundhog Days every year for a couple of days. They show the movie. Sometimes they bring actors out here. Um, it's a pretty interesting thing, but they do love their association with Groundhog Day, as you can see right up here, Groundhog Days. And this right here, Ned's Corner from Groundhog Day, if you remember Ned Ryerson, each morning when Phil Connors would walk down the street, he would see his old buddy, Ned Ryerson, right over here. But they, they put out a lot of uh, memorials and plaques so you can tell where things happened. And it's really easy. They have maps and things like that that are available so you can easily navigate your way around town. But there is another uh, location up here that used to be the Tip Top Cafe. Or it was the Tip Top Cafe in the movie. It's right up here on the right, and I'll show you that in a second. But over here on the left, if you remember when Bill Murray would walk, he would step into a puddle on the side of the road. That puddle was actually right here. Now at the time of the movie, I believe they took out some of the road and some of the sidewalk here to make that gigantic puddle, but this is where it was. I just think it's awesome that they, you know, that they appreciate the history of this film. But right over here was the Tip Top Cafe, which is where Phil Connors would go and eat breakfast in the morning. Now it's another restaurant. And for another filming location, just follow this street right on down on the left hand side. This was the Alpine Theater, which is where Phil Connors character went to go see a movie. And if you remember, he wore that ridiculous outfit and said, call me Bronco. That happened right at the ticket office, right over here. I will wander over there and see if there's anything you can see. It doesn't look like they still have that ticket window outside. It looks a little bit different. It is called the Woodstock Theater. Obviously the Alpine Theater was done for the movie. But this is where it was shot, right here. Give you a little look at it. Pretty cool. So let's keep moving. Now here's one of the other things that, that you can see. Happy Easter, but it's the groundhog. There really is either a groundhog or something related to Groundhog Day just about everywhere down here. Now up here on the left hand side, there is a, um, there's a bar and a restaurant down on the lower level called Public House, and that's where Phil Connors and Andy McDowell's character were drinking to world peace. They're doing a little bit of uh, construction here today, so sorry about any noise that you might hear. But that all happened right here. 
And a little side note too, if you guys watched the Super Bowl a couple years ago when they had a, um, they brought back Bill Murray to do another Groundhog Day, I believe it was for Jeep. I was actually here that day and they were shooting some of the scenes with Bill Murray right over here. And they were dressing up uh, the public house down here. But they were shooting some of that commercial right here in front of this building. And up here, if you can see on the left-hand side, pretty far up, but on the, on the corner of the picture, that was the Pennsylvanian Hotel, which Bill Murray's character said that that was a flea bag and he wasn't going to stay there. That is actually the Woodstock Opera House. And I'll give you a better look at that in just a minute. But over here, this is the town square. And this was Gobbler's Knob in Groundhog Day. Now, none of this movie was actually shot in Pen Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. I believe it is a real town, although nothing was actually shot there. Everything was shot right here. When they did the Groundhog Day Festival, it was shot here. But this is the Pennsylvanian Hotel, the Opera House. And up in the top corner was where Bill Murray jumped from the top of the, um, the building in one of the famous scenes. Now this square also was used in a scene in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which I believe is how they remembered. A couple people that worked on that film also worked on this film, and I believe they, um, the location scouts or whoever remembered that this was the, about this town square, and it really had just everything that they needed to film Groundhog Day. Now if you remember, Bill Murray and Andy McDowell were dancing up, up here. But this was Gobbler's Knob. But yeah, everything is really close together right here. So it made filming incredibly easy. And, you know, like I said, every year they have Groundhog Days here. They've brought back, I know they brought back Harold Ramis once or twice. Um, Stephen Tobolowski's come back a couple times. I think Chris Elliott was here a time or two. Bill Murray came back for various things, um, like the commercial that I just told you about for the Super Bowl. And that's, um, you know, there's probably a lot more here, but this is kind of a quick, a little bit of a quick uh, journey through here. Now here's one more better look at the Pennsylvanian Hotel. And right up here is where Bill Murray jumped from. That's pretty cool. Now if you want to see the bed and breakfast where Phil Connors stayed in the movie, let's go take a look at it right now. Now this is just a few blocks away on Fremont Street. This was the famous bed and breakfast where Bill Murray stayed as Phil Connors. If you remember, every morning he woke up to that same song that was up there in that top left window. A kind of a neat piece of movie history. And this is a real bed and breakfast. You can stay here. It's beautiful on the inside. I was in there uh, last year during an open house. But um, if you ever come to Woodstock, Illinois, look it up. It's a really, really nice place to stay. And here is the infamous view when they said, where's everybody going? To Gobbler's Knob. It's Groundhog Day. Right down this sidewalk here. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour, and if you like the movie like me, that hopefully you enjoyed seeing where this, uh, where this film was shot. So thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if this is your first time on this channel. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future. So thanks a lot, everybody. Be safe, and we'll catch you on the next video.